All right, hello everybody, Crazy Canuck here, and welcome to a brand new course playthrough. And this is my very first course release for PGA Tour 2K21. I released some ports, obviously, uh, but this is my first one I have built entirely in PGA Tour 2K21. So I am planning on releasing this uh, October 14th, so it should be out by the time you are watching this. Um, so I'm going to give this a playthrough, and I hope you guys play it and enjoy it, and let's, I want to hear what you think. So, also, we are trying to record this in 4K, so this is our first 4K video, so, um, might look a little bit choppier than usual, I don't know if it will or not, I mean, not choppier, but maybe the frame rate might just be a little bit lower, so. I have not tried this before, so we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. The first hole is a 413 yard par four. Pretty narrow, just to kick things off. Let's see if we can find the fairway. Oh, not a great swing there. Not a great swing. That is going to find the bunker. Yeah. All right. No problem. Let's see here. 115. Out of the bunker. So there's a bit of a kicker at the back here. Um, I'm going to actually might try to use it here. A little bit fast. Uh, I might actually sneak up on this. It should roll back down unless I catch the fringe. Uh, I didn't catch much of it. Well, I did a little bit, but we'll take it. All right, birdie putt. So yeah, this like I said, my very first course in the game. That's brand new. Uh, I really enjoyed building this. I think it's more of a subtle... Oh, that's a terrible putt. More of a subtle uh, version of what I usually do. Not as wild. What is that kind of a putt? Oh wow, I'm adjusting to this uh, slightly lower frame rate of the 4K. And nope, we missed that too. So a nice little four putt to kick things off. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well, there's how to not putt on this hole. As we head to the second. Short par four, up the hill. Uh, those bunkers on the left, not really in play. Uh, the layup is the option here, is the shot here. But if you are playing the big driver and you're feeling like you've got good tempo, uh, you can try to go for it. The way I'm hitting it, I'm not, so I'm going to lay back. And I hit a perfect. The big wide fairway right here. Beautiful. That will leave me a little bit longer shot in, though. 122, 123 is still not that long. Bit of an uphill. As you can see, it kind of slopes down in all directions. Let's hit this 122 club. Uh, maybe go off a club. Hmm. I feel like I'm right in between clubs. Let's go off a club and see if we can spin her back. Slightly fast. I think this was the right choice on clubs. A little long, actually. Not going to come back. All right. No problem. So we'll aim it out here somewhere. Oh, I think I hit that too hard. Yeah, greens aren't that difficult, but I'm making them look pretty tough. Oh, geez. I think my putting is just atrocious right now. Actually, putting is a pretty good part of my game. No, seven putts on the first two holes. Yikes. Not so good. All right. That's fine. That is one of my favorite holes. I didn't. I really like the short par fours that I built on this hole. All right, first par three on the course is actually the shortest par three on the course at 157 yards. Bit of a shallow uh, green here. Or not shallow. Yeah, I guess shallow. Shallow green. That's the word. Uh, so not a lot of green to work with, and especially with this pin, it's a bit tricky to get to. I'm going to hit my 161 club. Perfect shot. 
Be the club, baby. Oh, I like it. Oh. <laughs> I thought I liked it. Thought I liked it. Okay, no problem. Is that a better putt? No, not quite. All right, we'll take a par. We'll take a par here. That is the par three third hole. We head to the fourth, the first par five. It is a beast of a par five, especially into the wind here. So first thing is we got to find the, the fairway. Pretty wide fairway, but uh, easily missable. But we piped out right down the middle. Our Bridgestone driver that's going 295. All right, so... In certain wins, this is reachable in two. Not today, but the big thing to worry about is if you look, we got out of bounds at the front of the green. I would like to have make, made that like a hazard, but unfortunately you can't do that in this game. So it's OB. People might not like that, but hey. Too bad. I warned you. I warned you. Oh, no. <laughs> I warned myself. Bye-bye. I'm out of bounds. Yikes. Oh, that's terrible. Let's try that again. Well, we stayed away from it that time. Goodness. Just terrible, ladies and gentlemen. Just terrible. All right, we got to hack it out here. Try to save a bogey. 122. Okay, this might not be too bad. I might even go one more club up. Acted out pretty good. Needs to sit. Needs to sit. Uh, all right. Off the green for bogey. Definitely a struggling start here at Persephone. Now, ooh, that's not even in yet for double. Oh my goodness, we missed that too. Triple bogey. So there's your word of warning. Stay away from that out of bounds on four. Wow, we're playing bad. I thought I could at least play good in my first playthrough, but uh, it's honestly the 4K has brought the the uh, frame rate way down, That and I'm... I'm struggling with it, but I'm, I want to bring you the quality. That's what I'm trying to do. So the fifth hole, maybe one of my, I think it's my favorite hole on the course. Uh, short ultimate risk reward, par four. Uh, you can hit the green potentially, um, but you have not a lot of space. These rocks, if you hit these rocks here, it could bounce anywhere. Obviously, you don't want to be in the water. Um, even the layup isn't. It's a bit difficult because the fairway kind of cambers to the right. So, um, wow, we're six over. Let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. Oh yeah, we hit it way too fast. It's okay. We're at least out of the wa out of harm's way with the water. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. 42 yards with the flop. This isn't a bad shot, I don't think. A little slow. But we are in birdie range. Just the putting has been quite difficult today. Get in there. No. No, we'll have to settle for par. There we go. All right, we approach the sixth hole, 200 yard par three, over the very large pond, which is the focal point of this hole, obviously. That's 13 in the background there. Um, Yeah, just don't be short, otherwise it's a pretty straightforward hole. A couple bunkers at the back, but... Oh, not so good. Well, I found the bunker at the back. 
In we go. All right. Bit of an awkward lie here on the downhill slope. Only 14 yards, so we're going to have to hit a little, just a little half shot here. Not bad. Get in. Pretty good scramble out of there. Should be able to walk in our par. Or knock in our par, I should say. There we go. Whew, that's a messy scorecard. Let's see if we can settle her down now. As we hit the seventh. At length par four. 423 yards. Pins up at the front today. So a driver will get you right to the end of the fairway, and if you look again, more out of bounds to be worried about. So any long drives there could catch out of bounds. Just stuff to think about. This drive is left, and we found that small little bunker on the left-hand side. Now we got to get over the bunker, or sorry, out of the bunker, over the out of bounds, or over the out of bounds. And onto the green. Shouldn't be too bad. The out of bounds not really in play here. We're going to hit this one. Uh, this actually might actually be enough. No, we'll hit the 152. I don't want to be on that top ridge, though. Oh, no. What did I say about the out of bounds not being in play? <laughs> oh, it's in play. And I found it again. Wow. Again, guys, I apologize if you're going that out of bounds. It's it'll happen, and you're gonna curse me for it. I would I loved that to have been just a hazard, and I could have just left it, but I didn't. And if you don't like the course because of it, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible. Usually much better than this, uh, but yeah, like I said. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm used to playing 60 frames per second, and I think we're barely hitting 30 here. But I'm hoping the video looks smooth. Double bogey on seven. All right. The very gettable eighth hole. It's short, only 545 yards, but we do have wind in our face here. Um, pretty generous fairway. Which we have found. We got. All right. Yeah, like I said, reachable, even in this wind, but a very small green that is very well protected. So uh, up to you if you want to go for it. I'm going to try to go for it. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold it. Probably end up in that front bunker. We do hit a perfect swing. Oh, I might clear it. Oh, this could be perfect. That's it. Mm. No. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible to hold that green into, which is what I want. Okay, a little pitch on here. Oh, this might not be bad. We might have a birdie here, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Our first birdie of the day. Trying to stop the bleeding here as we're seven over. Heading to the ninth. Another short par four up the hill. Actually not playing that short today. I think the pin's right at the back, pin one. Yeah, so more of a mid-length uphill par four here. Two bunkers right, one bunker left, one bunker long. So pretty well protected. Ooh, did I hit it too far here? I may have. Just hangs on. That is ideal, as that's just going to set up a little pitch shot in. Shouldn't be too bad. 18 in the background there. Slow swing. Terrible. Oh, hang on. It might not. It will not. So a very easy pitch that I've just destroyed there. Not so good. Okay. Third shot, a little heavy on that chip shot. Oh, this actually falls back. This is going to be off the green, too. Oh, boy. Showing you guys how to get in trouble on this course. All the places to avoid. I'm finding them. Oh, so close. 
All right. Well, we erased that nice birdie on eight with a bogey on nine just because of a really poor second shot. So an extremely, extremely ugly front nine. Let's shake it off as we head to the back. We kick off the back with a long par four, pretty narrow fairway. Again, pretty well protected by bunkers on, le on the left and the right. Ooh, slow swing. That may catch the bunker on the right. Oh, no, we got a good bounce. All right. So, mid-length iron in. 70, I might go up one more club here. I'm also on a sloped lie, or, yeah, side hill lie. Mm, I got the slow tempo. Not terrible, but a little off target. Into that heavy rough. Okay. Chip on. Oh, go in. Oh, so close. So close. It's fine. Take a par. That is definitely a tougher hole, depending on if you're, well, if you're in the rough, you're, you're in big trouble. All right. The 11th. Another short par five. This one, we do have wind assistance, but as you look, as you see here, quite a narrow fairway. So you got to be real careful here. Oh, I don't know if I... I think I got it. Yep. We're just fine. Right down the middle. Beautiful. So only leaving me an iron in, but if you look at this green, you, if, especially if the, green, the pin is here, you do not want to be up here, which I probably will be. Um, cause that drops off. I've, I've had putts that if I'm up there that end up down here even further. So be careful. Maybe we'll put it up there. See if I can show you fast. Oh, well, this actually might be okay. Oh, no, it's not. Come back down, come down the hill. Yes. Oh, this could be really good guys. Here she comes. Oh, baby. That's the shot you want. We've got an eagle putt. We have got an eagle putt here. Trying to turn our fortunes around. No, nope, I played it too high. But we do have a birdie. On the 11th. It's a fun little par five. I like that one. All right, 12. The downhill par three. 195 yards. Again, if that's hole five in the back there, so that pawn from hole five comes back into play for any shots long. Got to be careful to not be long here. Oh, terrible tempo. Slow. I'm playing on master swing difficulty, by the way. All right, so that's going to leave me again. Another chip. We do not want to be long here. Oh, no. Hit the pin. Go in. <sighs> okay, stop now. Can't go down that ridge or we're in huge trouble. Okay. Salvage a par here. Yes, we can. Nice par. All right, we're, we're stabilizing here on the back. We are stabilizing. All right, 14. No, 13. Getting ahead of myself. 13, dog leg here. Dog leg to the right. Uh, you might require a bit of shot shaping depending on the wind. You can lay up here, uh, but if you want to try to cut the corner, which I'm going to try to do, I'm actually going to put a little, little fade on this. A perfect shot. And that is what you want. Little bit of a cut there. That's perfect. That's going to set up just an easy little pitch shot. Hmm. Okay, 79 yards. We'll play the 82. 
I really like this green complex. It's just surrounded by bunkers. But again, not really in play, but they're there to scare you. Ooh, I love it. Okay. There it is. There's a very nice birdie. That is how you play hole 13. I'm glad I showed you guys how to actually play a hole well. I haven't played a lot of them well. All right, 14. Really good birdie opportunity on 14. Short par four. A bit narrow. But again, it is a... If you put this in the fairway, it's just another pitch in a pot. So... Very gettable. I got 105 power. Wow. Really extending on that shot. Eh, I found the rough. Okay. Tricky little hitch here. See how it comes out. Oh, it came out better than I thought. Sit. Okay. Live with that. Play this a little bit of a break. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Beautiful. Tail of two nines here. Wow. Eight over on the front, three under on the back. No problem. All right, 15. Longest par four at Persephone. Right, today it's playing 503 into the wind. You've also got bunkers left, water right. Uh, this hole is a bit of... Well, it's going to be tough. As I have shown you. No. Oh, right into the water. What I was afraid of. And I still have 234 yards in. I can easily see this hole playing as my number one handicap hole. Okay, we can. Oh, this might. Uh, I thought it was going to come back down, but it did not. Just when I said tail of two nines, we. This tr tough 15th going to produce a bogey from us. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, the final par three at Persephone. Right around 200 yards on this pin. Do the whole par threes play roughly the same distance, but one's uphill, one's downhill, and one's level. So you're not ever really playing the same club, even though the distances are about the same. We're going to play this. This might be short. You get 102 power. Yeah, it's still short. Not going to make it up. And we're left with another chip. All right. See if we can get her close. Sit now. Sit now. That's fine. Save our par. I pulled it a bit, but it did come back nicely. All right. Rebound with a par. 17, final par 5 at Persephone Golf Club. 562 yards. This one is gettable in two. Uh, the second shot is where it's tough. Oh, an awful swing. I was just going to say, it's a very generous fairway, but if you get a very slow, eh, not so much. All right. So usually you can go for it, but yeah, this hill is a bit pesky, and especially if you got a back right or back right pin like that. Um, you might not want, might want to think twice about going for it in two. Not for us, though. We're going to have to lay up. Be careful of those bunkers. All right, perfect. Okay, so we've got 69 yards in. I'm going to hit this little 63-yard pitch. Slightly slow tempo, but should be pretty good. There's a good shot. Chance to make a birdie, which I have. 
That is the fourth birdie on the back nine. What a difference. All right, 18. 18 is very difficult. 446 yards, but maybe the narrowest fairway on the course. You have to thread the needle. And I don't know even with that slightly slow if I have or not. I did not, so you got to be right on. Pretty deep green. I'm going to hit the 170 club. Still not sure if this is going to be enough. Well, I got perfect tempo. Oh, get a bounce. Could get a nice bounce. Oh, beautiful bounce. There we go. What a way to finish. Let's see if we can knock in a birdie. Yes. Wow. 44 on the front, 32 on the back. <laughs> Speechless. Absolutely insane. But anyway, there it is. That is Persephone Golf Club. Again, just released. Please give it a play. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. But if you don't, hey, let me know too. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, I really hope you're enjoying the content on the video, please, or on the YouTube channel. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff the YouTube people say. I guess I'm a YouTuber now. I don't know. Anyway, thanks guys.